O oh friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us start with this chapter on data handling. Firstly, we will learn collecting and organizing data. Then we shall learn to find out the representative values that is mean, median and mode. Next we will learn to draw and use a bar graph and finally introduce you to the concept of chance and probability. We have seen several kinds of data through newspapers, magazines, television and other sources. We also know that data give us some sort of information. Let us look at some common forms of data. You must have come across temperature of cities on a particular day. Clearly we can see from the table that it gives us the maximum temperature and the minimum temperature on a particular day. And we can conclude that on 20th, Delhi was the hottest city out of the five cities. So from this example, we can see that the collection, recording and presentation of data helps us to organize our experiences and draw inferences from it. We have seen several kinds of data through newspapers, magazines, television and other sources. We also know that data give us some sort of information. Let us look at some common forms of data. You must have come across temperature of cities on a particular day. Clearly we can see from the table that it gives us the maximum temperature and the minimum temperature on a particular day. And we can conclude that on 20th, Delhi was the hottest city out of the five cities. So from this example, we can see that the collection recording and presentation of data helps us to organize our experiences and draw inferences from it. Let us take another example and try to study the data. Clearly it is mentioned that it is Arun's mark sheet for the fifth standard. We can also see the subjects in the table and that the marks are for the first term and the second term. It is also obvious that all the marks obtained are out of 50. From this table, we can see that in first term, Arun scored 36 out of 50, while in the second term, he scored 42 out of 50. That means his marks has increased and he has made an improvement in English subject. Similarly, we can compare marks of first term and second term for all the subjects and find out whether they have increased or decreased. And now we are in a position to make an inference. We can conclude that Arun needs to work harder for maths and EVS. Let us now try to understand the importance of collecting data. The data on the screen can tell us many things, but it cannot tell us the city which had the highest maximum temperature during the year. To find that, we need to collect data 
regarding the highest maximum temperatures reached in each of these cities during the whole year in that case the temperature chart of one particular date of the year as given in this table will not be sufficient that means a given collection of data may not give us a specific information that we may seek from it so we need to collect data keeping in mind the information required from it that is before collecting data we need to know what we would use it for for example if your teacher wants to study the performance of your class in maths she needs to make a table which would mention the roll number the name of the student and the marks obtained by the student out of 50 in mathematics and she may not include the marks obtained by the student in other subjects notice here that if the teacher had collected instead of marks in maths marks in science then the data collected by her would have been irrelevant and she cannot perform the study about the marks in maths after collection of data the most important step would be to organize the data suppose the teacher wanted to find how children had performed in maths and she had collected data of the marks obtained by the students in the following way then it will be very difficult for the teacher to understand the performance of the students in maths and also she did not know whether the impression of the students matched their performance but if the teacher organizes the data by constructing a table of the roll numbers the names and the marks obtained in maths she can make various inferences firstly the maximum marks obtained by her class are 48 out of 50 minimum marks obtained in her class are 13 out of 50 students c and student l have scored the maximum marks and student g has scored the minimum marks hence we have seen that when we put data in a proper table it becomes easy to understand and interpret the data